So did you miss me? I missed you. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is brand new. It's from that little shop that had another very similar mug. I uh, can't remember it had a saying on it in the mug where you could see the mug. This just shows her sitting in her yoga pants and stuff, her slippers with her hair back. I'm feeling kind of like her today. I'm a little lighter in color, but I've got the fuzzies going on. <laughs> but anyway, I will link the shop down below. I saw this when I went. That's perfect for me. Yoga, sitting, drinking my tea. That's, that's, just, that's just me. Anyway, in our new coffee mug is another uh, tea from our Sips by Box, and that is the Cookie Tea Sugar Cookie Sweetheart. This has... Roy Boss, Cara Bits, White Chocolate Cocoa Butter, Splits. Uh, kind of have an idea of what that is now. They're actually just uh, thin, uh, almost slivers. Some of them seem a little thick, but they're almost sliver slivers. I can talk. It's been a while, but I can talk. Honeybush Sugar Hearts. And I've got one to show you. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. It is, it's actually really adorable. Wow. Don't lose. Don't run away. Don't fall. Let me see. Let me see what I can do here. Come here. Anyway. Hopefully you can see that. Little, I'm trying not to have it fall down again. A little hard to do. But there you go. He has... <laughs> there, it fell down. But it's a little sugar heart. It literally is a little heart made of uh, pinkish, reddish, brown... Sugar, can you see it that way? There we go. It is a little heart. It's very cute. I'm going to dump that into the mug right there. Uh, cat's foot natural flavor contains almonds. Um, it is on the chunkier side, but it's not completely chunky. I have bits coming up out of my little steeper, but I'm kind of excited to try this. So we'll give it a stir. <coughs> And we will give it a sip. Now, when it came out of the, when I first opened the bag, it was somewhat on the fragrant side, but it was very delicate. But it's almost kind of weird because it's not anything mentioned, but there was almost like a, a mintiness to it in towards the um, end of the scent. So we'll see if we get any of that in the sip. It has milk in it, cookies and milk. Let's go ahead and give her a sip. Okay, so right now it is really weak. All right, we'll have to see what's going to go on. It is really weak. Just going to let her sit. Uh, five minutes. So it's not been five minutes. So it's going to sit there and steep for a little bit. Alrighty, so first things first, hi, <laughs> I'm back. Uh, my little vacation was unexpected. Um, just had a lot of things going on and we had a lot of errands to run over the last couple weeks and Tuesdays were my filming days because of the fact that my daughter is only off on Tuesday. We went ahead and shuffled things around. So hopefully a long unexpected break like that won't happen again. And I will be able to, or I will be able to warn you that something's coming up so that we cannot, um, so that you might be missing a few videos. This totally was unexpected. I had no backups. I had nothing to put up while I was gone. We had errands to run the last couple of weeks. We had other things going on and I just, my knee was starting to get sore again. My back was getting sore. Uh, so I had to stay down a lot again. So we just ran into um, quite a few things just kind of going on. <laughs> so as you can see, we kind of got something new. That's a new um, spice rack that we just put up that has our more commonly used spices on it we've been having other things like that going on as well so just you know little things that all kind of built up into 
just not getting a video done and I apologize for that. Um, I know I'm entitled to take a day off or two if I need to, uh, but I prefer to warn you guys if that's going to happen and that just didn't happen this time around. So I'm back. Hopefully we've got the schedule resettled and re-figured out so that we can do what we need to do. And um, hopefully the next time I decide to take a break, I'll be able to warn you in advance. Anyway, another one more little bit. <sighs> Quite obviously, our neighbors are home. So if you hear some noises and voices in the background, it's probably them. Uh, the kids have been kind of loud lately. It's been very strange. They were really quiet for a while and then, yeah, stuff. So today I'm reviewing a brand that I don't think I unboxed on the channel because my daughter bought it for me. So she made an Ulta order. She ordered these particular products uh, for me and um, I've been trying them out. Uh, it's been very interesting because it did not end up the way I expected it to. And I think I found my uh, leave-in conditioner as well, which is not from the same brand. Anyway, so today I'm reviewing the Pacifica Pineapple Curls line. Um, I don't think I have everything, actually. I think I have most of it. Um, I was pleasantly surprised uh, by the line. The scent on all the products is pretty and very light, and it's practically, so it's practically unnoticeable. Uh, as you all know, I'm not big on heavy scents. That's been my problem with Shea, uh, Shea Moisture for a little while. And um, these were just really, really nice, and they, they surprised me in more than that. My results with them have been... Um, Interesting. They're not a high-priced brand. Now, Pacifica was kind of a question mark, has been kind of a question mark for me. I haven't been back to the site since, um, I don't know, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. It's been a while. I think since I got there, a light foundation. So it has to be a year and a half ago, at least. Pretty close to two years. It was soon after that came out, but not like right after that came out. I went ahead and ordered that. There were some other Pacifica things I had tried um, over, you know, because of Ipsy. My first blushes from Ipsy was the Pacifica uh, duo. Uh, however, the problem with Pacifica for me at the time was when I went to look at them, because I like the blushes, I went to look at them and they had a couple different foundations that had almost no shades. It was like, uh, and all their shades were in the medium and light, uh, lighter in the medium. It was really strange. So I stopped shopping at Pacifica and uh, I never even thought about looking into hair care from them, but they do have a hair care line and that's what we're here to talk about. So let's get into that. So we're going to start with the Curl Defining Shampoo. Like I said, this line, this whole line was very, very surprising. This is, um, got a very nice and creamy, really creamy uh, consistency. It's very, obviously it's like a shampoo. It's very, very loose. You don't need a lot. You can use, I could use maybe two to three times what I just put in my hand and that'll be enough. It has a light, barely there lather. My hair and uh, scalp, which is important for your hair care, your no hair health, is having your scalp be healthy. Uh, felt clean without the dreaded uh, stripping squeak, which was really, really nice. Uh, there was one spot, literally just one spot, that felt a little dry, but other than that, even my ends didn't feel dry, uh, and I was seriously surprised. I have, so I have three shampoos now. This one, I have my Eden Body Works um, Papaya Castor um, Scalp Cleanser, and then I have my Oedad. Now, my Oedad I use once a month, and I use it for, um, it's for, uh, as I break, uh, completely blank on it. It's for when you want to get rid of all of the, any excess uh, residue, build up, whatever. And uh, most, um, most of us curlies have to do that once a month, two months, somewhere in there because of the product we use on our hair to protect it and take care of our curls. So clarifying, that's what it is. I knew I'd think of it. Yes, yeah. Anyway, so those are my three shampoos. And I, like I said, I use the Oedad once a month to clarify. And um, I was trying to use 
the scalp cleanser only once a month and that just wasn't working. My scalp was, I still having some issues. It's a very, very mild shampoo and a scalp cleanser. Uh, it is more mild than this, but it is, um, but this is more mild than the clarifier. So anyway, the clarifier doesn't dry out my hair either, but on the clarifier, I know it's going to get rid of any excess buildup on my hair. At any rate, I'll get through this. Um, so I've been using the scalp cleanser. I was trying to use it once every two weeks. So I would try to use the scalp cleanser one week and then go two weeks and then use the Oedad. And that just wasn't working for my hair. So I've had to go back to washing uh, once a week with shampoo, but I still have to be careful because I still got all these, you know, silvers that are going to dry out easily. So what I've taken to doing now is I use the scalp cleanser one week, use this the next week, go back to the scalp cleanser for the third week, and then do my clarifying at the end of the month. That seems to be working. Um, my scalp gets cleaned up. My hair doesn't have the buildup. This isn't drying my hair out. The scalp cleanser never dried my hair out, even when I was using it every week. Don't have any problems with that. So the only one that would be a concern is the Oedad, and even that doesn't dry out my hair. So this has become a mid-month cleanser that I can use. Uh, it doesn't quite clear my hair up nearly as much as the Oedad, but it does get to my scalp a little bit better than the scalp cleanser, and it's still very, very gentle. So... I tend to keep using this and um, am likely to repurchase it. And it says formulated for all hair types, uh, formulated without sulfates for all hair types. It's probably all curled to hair types. And I'm sure if you had straight hair, you could use it. It doesn't have any of my nose, I don't think, as I recall. And then it also has perfume, but that's also on the bottom. And it says... Um, our scent blend with natural and or essential oils. Not necessarily big deal. I'm not big into having scents, but that would explain why the scent is so light on all of these. The perfume is near the bottom, if not at the bottom. So again, I think even if you had straight hair, you could use this. It is a really nice shampoo. I have found that as my hair has gotten more silver, I think I've mentioned that I've started having some issues with uh, some tangling because when your hair gets more silver, it gets more dry. And when it gets more dry, it has more of a tendency to tangle. And uh, so I have found that this actually helps cut through that as well. So that's, it's really, really nice. This whole line is just, like I said, it's made me go, ah, okay, Pacifica, I see you there. All right. So next, as you all know, I do something called a mini mask. And that means I use uh, a hair mask and I use it for maybe five, maybe 10 minutes. If I'm doing a full on masking, that'll be a 20 to 45 minute masking. And most of those times I do that under a heat thing. Uh, I have yet to use this under heat, I don't think. Let me take a look at my notes because I don't remember. Yeah, I haven't tried it under heat yet. I'll let you know in the future. However, it's a medium consistency, creamy and smooths out in my hands beautifully. So see it right there just like most of them. This is a little on the looser side of many masks, but you can see it's it's on the thicker end as well. So it's not, it's not gonna slide down your hand or anything like that. So it's not that loose, but it is on the looser end for a mask, I find. Um, not a problem, it's very creamy. It uh, smooths out in my hands and into my hair. Uh, I did feel like I needed to use a little bit more of it than what I would normally try to use, but some of that may also be that I may not be taking as much out of this kind of packaging as I do in the tubs, because in the tubs I can just dip my hand in and pull up what I want. This you're pouring it out and you may not be aware that you're taking uh, less out than you would normally. Um, it's almost like it melts away in my hair without really melting into my hair which sounds weird, but it really did just sort of seem to just disappear. My hair sucked it up. Let's put it that way. Um, it was interesting. The hair felt smooth when it's out. Absolutely no residue. I can't say it really felt moisturized, but the one dry spot was definitely taken care of. So it did 
moisturize my hair. It is very, very light, which is nice. I haven't tried it with heat yet, but it actually doesn't mention using heat in the directions at all. I do like it. I've, um, I wouldn't say it's an absolute favorite. I probably would not repurchase this, not because it's a bad mask. It's an actually a decent mask, uh, but because I have others that are um, more of a favorite and have a more, more of a moisture balm, which my hair needs, especially when I'm doing the mini masks. Um, when I'm doing the long-term heat in masking, it's not that big of a deal because everything will get in there. And I usually find with the heat, it just really seems to help the moisture from whatever I'm using to really get into my hair. Excuse me. Oh, I didn't, uh, this is interesting. Do you have that too? Interesting. I just noticed something that I hadn't seen before. So there's, they're saying a hundred percent vegan and cruelty free. Uh, this bottle, the plastic bottle is a hundred percent recycled plastic and the cap is 25% recycled. And this one says it is 50% recycled plastic tube, which is really interesting. Made with PCR, post-consumer recycled plastic. Give it another life and recycle it again. Interesting. Now, the problem with that is in Georgia, you have to pay to recycle your stuff. We can't afford that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, after shampooing uh, with the Curls Shampoo, distribute from scalp to ends, but stay on hair at least five to ten minutes. Use when hair needs extra love. Can be used in an overnight or weekly tre treatment when rinse well and again there's none of the stuff and again the perfume is the very last thing in the list so it actually works really well for my hair but like i said and i do like it it's it's not a horrible thing i'm, I'm when i say i'm probably not going to repurchase it it's just more of a i have other masks that i really love that give me more of the moisture i need this is not horrible I do recommend it for people who may. This is something, especially if you have something that's similar to my hair, where your hair is easily weighed down. It's a very lightweight mask. And um, again, it's, uh, it says deep breathable hydration. Super quenched for dry curls with coconut, avocado, and pineapple. Again, all hair types. And I'm sure they mean all curl types. Uh, we have, you know, type one, which is straight hair, and then two A, B, and C, three A, B, and C, four A, anyway, yeah. I'm sure what's been meaning by type is the curl type, but I can see somebody with straight hair using this to take care of their hair as well. I don't see a problem with that, especially if you need something really lightweight. But anyway, it is a good mask. I Like I said, I'm unlikely to, likely to repurchase this. I will use this one up, but I'm unlikely to repurchase it because I have like five other masks that I really love that also give me what I need. And um, in fact, more so than that. And they are not, they don't weigh down my hair either. So I need to stick with the things that are going to give me a, quite a bit more moisture than this one seems to do. So this is the Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Conditioner. This is a bit thicker than the mask, which is unusual because usually it's the other way around. This one takes some effort to push out of the thing, but that's what that looks like. You know, it's very, very thick, um, but it does like the mask. It does blend out very, very quickly and very easily in my fingers. Uh, so it is thicker than the mask, but lightweight going into my hair. Much like the mask, it felt like it practically disappeared. My hair sucked it up. Uh, almost all the tangles were gone. Now understand, again, I don't get a lot of tangles. So when I say almost all the tangles were gone, I don't have a lot to begin with. So I have maybe one or two left by the time I'm done putting this, this stuff in my hair. Um... Her hair felt clean but smooth right down to the ends. It mixed well with my citrus fusion, though the scent became a bit stronger with that. Uh, Post-rinse detangling was almost as good as by, its, uh, as by itself. 
I'm pretty impressed the price is reasonable, so I might repurchase more of this when the citrus is gone. So here's what's going on with that. Eden Body Works is discontinuing their citrus fusion line. As you all know, I love it. I am looking for a new curl cream with hold that's in the same price range. Having trouble finding one. I have stocked up as much as I can on the citrus fusion. Uh, they are apparently going to have one more restock in the summer. Plan to stock up some more then. Because damn, you guys, damn. Uh, but that also includes the conditioner. So once everything is gone after the restock this summer, it's gone. Everything's gone. The Citrus Fusion uh, conditioner over there is five bucks. So I'll probably stock up on that too. But that said, that will eventually go. It will eventually be gone. This does um, seem to handle any tangles better than the Citrus Fusion. Although my hair loves the Citrus Fusion. Uh, if I do have tangles, I cannot say that it actually helps detangle my hair. Uh, this one has a 65% uh, PCR tube. And um, the perfume is again at the bottom. Again, it's a really, really nice conditioner. Um, I will be looking into repurchasing it uh, when my uh, citrus is completely gone. And um, I'm glad I found a conditioner before I was even looking. The conditioner was not as big a deal to me as the um, hair and body butter. But I'm glad that I do have something that I can replace it with. Because this is actually very nice. And like I said, it really, really, really did help with um, how my hair felt and the detangling. And it's lightweight. And it's all those things that I need. So, And my hair seemed to really like it as well. All right, so next is not actually in the pineapple line. We do have one more in the pineapple swirl line, but I'm going in the order of which I use them. As you all know, for a while there, I was looking for a new leave-in conditioner because as much as I like the Bayomint, uh, the Adwo Bayomint leave-in conditioner, that stuff is 20-some plus a bottle. Now it's reasonably, it's like, it's not 16 ounces, but it's not. 10. It's, it's above that. It's between the two somewhere. That might be 12 ounces. But still, that's a really high price. And then I tried the Curls and Potions leave-in, which I also really like, but that is 8 ounces and uh, is also, it's $15. So uh, I believe when I actually put the two out and did the ounce, the price per ounce, they came out to pretty close the same. The Curls and Potions was like 5 cents cheaper. I need less than that, folks. <laughs> So I went looking about, I've been trying on and off different uh, leave-ins, and I finally tried this Inasi, in, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Inasi Aloe Hibiscus Leave-In Conditioner and Detangler. It says, loving the you that you were born into. I like that. So it's this one. Uh, I picked it up with a couple of the other products of theirs that honestly, this is the only one that actually survived it. I wanted to try one of their masks, but their masks had glycerin like the second or third ingredient, so I couldn't. Anyway, so this is a reasonably leave-in. It's about $15, replacement for my pricier options. It worked particularly well with the Pacifica line. Hair had next to no tangles, and the leave-in through slid through my hair so smoothly. Um removing the very few I found with no effort and there were no wet flyaways or frizz. My hair almost always seems to have um, kind of a frizz, kind of a like this, where you have bits and pieces just all over that aren't in the clump, even when it's wet. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I finally have just decided this is just my hair and I'm not going to fight the frizz as much. I do try to reduce it but I try not to fight it too much because there's no, there's no point. <laughs> I haven't, I think I've had one completely frizz free day in my entire curly journey. And when I did the same things that I did that day again, frizz. <laughs> it's just, it's just my hair. I will say the scent on this did bother me a little. It's actually fairly simple, simple, fairly similar to the curls and potions. I can talk. I just haven't done this for over a week, guys. That's all. That's what it is. It's got to be what it is, right? Anyway, it's fairly similar to the curls and potions. They're both very lightweight. I wouldn't mix them together because it could increase that smell. And it is, the scent to me is off-putting um, for both of them. But 
since it's so light, I can keep using it and it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it fades pretty quickly. This is lightweight and creamy. I'm, I, a minute here. Okay. Yeah. So they're safety sealed. I'm not going to open it. I do have a small one, but I just finished it up. It's pretty. Kids. Uh, it is pretty close to inconsistency to uh, probably the mask more than anything. So it's on the thicker end of loose for a conditioner, leave-in conditioner. But it's very lightweight and creamy with no hold. Now, the reason I bring up the hold is because one of the things that I like about the Advo is it has the smallest amount of hold. It, it is supposed to be a styling, that one is supposed to be a styling leave-in. So um, it has to have something in it to just help encourage the curl and give it a bit more, you know, that kind of thing. You won't find that with this. And you only notice the difference when you're using something that's not it. So uh, it's not anything I've missed because with what I'm working on finding with the butter that I use now and what I'm working to find to replace the butter, uh, I'm not going to need that in my leave-in. Now I may look at some other leave-ins, uh, but I've already purchased a couple bottles. This is one. Uh, I have another one under the sink. I'm not, goodness gracious, I am not <laughs> opening these yet. I need to get through the last of my Adwo and the Curls and Potions one because those were pricey. I need to get through them. They do have, you know, they do have the little they do have the little thing that tells you when this is open, this is when it's no longer usable. Um, so I want to get through those before I open another one. But it's nice to have one that I know that I can use. And i um, really excited about that. I had one of their little two or three ounce bottles. And I kept going back to it more than the other two. So pretty good. So after all of that, using all of those, because I did use these all in one day, uh, my hair felt light and was already curling out of the towel and also still relatively tangle free. It was frizz free. I, it was, it was to me, uh, something I hadn't seen in my hair yet. And that was really, really cool to me because um, I'm used to my hair coming out of the towel, more wavy than curly. I'm used to seeing a lot of little flyaways. Uh, this is out of, and it's still wet when it does that. It's just, it's, yeah, it has all of that. And uh, so it was really interesting and really nice to see it that way. And every time I've used just those products, it's come up that way. Uh, also, when I've used the, the uh, coconut, the Eden Body Works Coconut Shake Co-Wash, but I've used the um, conditioner and mask from Pacifica and the lead-in from Inasi, uh, I've gotten that same thing where everything is just smoother and more curly than wavy at that time, which is really, really nice. Okay, so those were all the successes from the Pacifica line plus the Inasi. Um, I do have one that was not quite so successful, unfortunately, and that is their Pineapple Swirl Curl Defining Cream. This might define somebody else's curls. It did not define mine. <laughs> this stuff was, it says help reduce frizz. No. Define, definitely not. And add shine with coconut, pineapple, and hyaluronic. This, this, it says for your dreamy, wavy hair, curly hair types on the front. Same packaging. I love the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. Uh, this one is 50% recycled plastic. And Ceteral, Cetal, Coconut Oil, Sunflower Oil, Linseed Oil, Pineapple Fruit, something seed oil, Salvia Hispanica seed oil. Oh, there's the problem. <laughs> wow. We didn't read, this, read the ingredients on this very well. No wonder my hair hated this. It has isopropyl 
and glycerin, but they're both near the bottom, which may be why they got missed. Isopropyl, I can't have in anything. The glycerin, I need to have seventh and below. Uh, my daughter might have missed them because she probably went down to seven and said, okay, that's enough. Uh, but this has ice. I can't. No wonder. Isopropyl dries out your hair. No wonder this had problems. Anyway, of all the Pacifica items, this is the one I'm least impressed with. It reduces the hold of my triple mix cream, as you recall. I had the citrus butter and um, the coconut shea curl defining and the Rizzo's curls. I used that uh, evenly mixed in thirds and it gave my hair hold and it reduced the hold of that. It reduced the curling power of my antidote curling cream, which is from Taylor Beauty, which is a new one I'm using. And I will be bringing up favorites. It'll come up in a favorites video that I'm doing soon. Um, and it was basically adding in an extra product that doesn't do much. So this one is pretty much pointless for me. And now it's even, it's honestly, I can see why this was a problem, even with isopropyl at the bottom, because the first time I discovered I had trouble with isopropyl, it was at the bottom of the ingredients list, and it still dried out the, the frick out of my hair. So <laughs> I think what's happening is this one is drying out my hair. So I put this in over everything that's just given it so much moisture, and it's not not working the way it's supposed to because of that isopropyl. So this is a no. I've given this to my daughter since she's purchased it. I've given this to my daughter for her to use with her daughter. They may not have issues with isopropyl. I know she doesn't have issues with glycerin. I've been able to give her glycerin products and her daughter's hair has been just fine with it. So this is the only one I would not recommend. It just doesn't do anything. Literally, it does not do anything. <laughs> just for something that's supposed to define your girls, nothing. So don't waste your money on this one. Uh, so overall, I really, really enjoyed this line other than the last item. And now that I look, took a real good look at the ingredients, I know why. Uh, the shampoo will probably get repurchased. The mask will probably not, but not because I don't like it. It's only because I have at least a half a dozen other masks that give me more moisture and that I like better. Uh, and the conditioner, I will probably repurchase again. So uh, overall, I thought it was a really nice line and was really pleasantly surprised. I see you, Pacifica. I do. And uh, so, yeah, and I do recommend the shampoo at the very least and the conditioner at the very least. Well, I reckon if you have straight hair, try the first three. Obviously, you don't need a curl defining cream if you have straight hair, but try them. I, I can't see them being a problem on somebody with straight hair. Um, they do help with tangles. They help with the more if you have hair that's dry, if you have hair that's uh, uh, fine, very fine and easily weighed down and flattened out. I think these would probably work really well for you, even if you have straight hair. Let's put it that way. So anyway, so that is it for the day. And I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen and you're not subscribed, I hope you hit that subscribe bell. <laughs> subscribe bell. The subscribe button. <sighs> Swear. We can tell. Anyway, I hope you hit the subscribe button. And when you do, please hit that bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload most of the time, two days a week. That would be Monday and Thursday. But we do have bonus videos. Looky there. Looky there. <gasps> That's right. That's right. We've started doing the gardening. I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, amongst those videos, let's let's fix that. Anyway, we are all over the place here. So amongst those bonus videos, uh, I do open indie brands. I have one coming in that hopefully will go up very soon. Uh, again, we are trying to cut back, so we'll have to see how much of that gets done. But I do open uh, indie brands, and uh, my son opens his Geek Fuel. That should be, that will be shipped fairly soon after you see this, that'll be shipped and you will get to see this month's next month. If you send anything, that would be open as a bonus video as well, unless you don't want me to. If you don't want me to, just leave a note in your box, in the package, 
or you can join the Dami Tries this Facebook group, which is listed down below. And you can let me know on there that you are sending a package, but you don't want me to embarrass you by opening it on the channel. And I will listen to your request. And obviously this summer, we're going to be doing our garden videos. Those are brief, usually less than five minutes. Sometimes they're 10, but not very often. Uh, we just planted our peppers. I'm so excited. We've planted them and they're inside this weekend. Uh, well, by the time you see this, because you'll see this afterwards, I'll be planting my tomatoes. And then in a week or two after that, I'll be planting almost everything else. We're trying to keep an eye on the weather. It is still back and forth and iffy, but just to let you know, they're very brief and you can ignore them. <laughs> it's just truly. However, if you are interested in those or any of those bonus videos, you would have to have that bell clicked to know when they I upload. Now, I will say I've only ever gotten one email recently about um, uh, a video, the new video from somebody. So whatever they fixed, it got broken again. I don't know. Hopefully. That just means you have to go to the YouTube channel, look up in the right-hand corner to see a little red dot with a number in it. Hopefully I will be amongst your uh, updates for that day. If you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> uh, and again, I'm sorry. I know, it's been a week. It's been a week. And if you choose not to subscribe, well, I get it. Long rambly videos. I do them. I, I get it. We had two, uh, two uh, dragon bites this past month. so, And those tend to run 40 to 45 minutes, I think. Something like that. They run a while. A lot of times. So, But I swear to you, they are not all like that. And hopefully you will choose to subscribe instead of not subscribing. But if you don't, I would understand. I would be depressed. No, I'd be disappointed. I'd be disappointed. Very disappointed. However, you are always welcome back here because we love having the company. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Okay, so we have sat here. Wow, that sat here long enough for it to cool off. It better be at full potential. Let's give her a sip and then we can get out of here, huh? The scent of this is not sugar cookie to me. It is sweet, but it's not, doesn't, it's not sugar cookie to me. Anyway. All right, it's not a horrible tea. It's not a sugar cookie tea. I really wish these teas would have the, um, when they name it, that it would actually reflect what it actually tastes like, because that, that's that's not sugar cookie. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's it's not wonderful. It's not one I would repurchase. Uh, I'll probably give the rest of this to my daughter. I have so many teas that I do like. I don't need to keep teas that are that are favorites. That I don't need to keep teas that are just like that's okay. So I will probably just get the, give this to my daughter and let her finish that out. My son can't do loose teas. But it's, it's not something I would repurchase. At any rate, that's it for the day. Hope you have a good one.